Okay, so uh, this video is going to be focusing on the rubber handle in um, on shape for Project Lead the Way uh, IED, and this rubber handle we're going to be creating in one extru one sketch and one extrusion. We're going to be introducing um, the idea of the revolve extrusion, and just to give you an idea of what we're, our goal is here, is our goal is to make this part in one extrusion um, and one sketch. So. Uh, things you have to know and remember with this is that a um, that circle right there at the end there that little hole there is actually created between a gap um, of the axis of symmetry, which is this line right here, and then the sketch that we're going to create. And so we're going to create that sketch line in, our, in there, and you can see that it doubles when it revolves all the way around. So if I I'm going to delete my revolve here. And you can see here's our sketch, right? So if we're talking about revolving this guy, so here's a here's our revolve. Here we're gonna select the axis. The space is gonna double from here to here when it revolves all the way around. It's gonna go another distance going to the top here. So if I change the view, you can see our original sketch distance is from here to here and here to here. And the reason this is important is because the dimension is given to us in diameter, and diameter goes all the way across the circle, but we're only going to be dimensioning halfway across the circle, so we have to remember to divide that by two. Okay, so I'm going to start a new part, and um, I'll just do that in here, and we can say new part studio. And then we're going to start a new sketch. Oh, I did not want it there. Start our new sketch on the front view. Okay. I like to, to create it from uh, the uh, rotated so that the front view is facing straight at us. And then we're just going to use our line tool and we're going to create this sketch right here. We're going to create this kind of L shape. So, okay, you can see how I'm not doing it on, I'm not constraining it to anything. The only thing I constrained it to was making sure that we had these constraint level with each other. Okay, and then we're going to do our construction line. Oops, up top. Okay, and so you create a construction line, escape out of your tool, and then you can re-click on it and say construction. And now it won't include this in the geometry. Uh, it just is a line that we can dimension to that's out of space. All right. Okay, so now we're ready to actually start putting in some measurements in here, and let's let's put the measurements in that we already have, or the dimensions in that we already have, and we have we know that this is supposed to be. 0.156 from here to here. So we'll say 0.156. Okay. And everybody freaks out, like, oh my gosh, it changed everything else. It's all right. It's not going to hurt anything. And then uh, we'll put in our 4.469. And I'll zoom out so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right. And then now we're ready to actually start putting in our other dimensions. So we're missing these three other dimensions. Okay. And those three other dimensions have to do with those diameters. So remember, if it's got that circle with a line through it, that is a symbol for a diameter in there. It says OD for outer diameter. And then we have our diameter for the, the little hole that's going to go in the end. So the gap from here to here, again, is half of the distance of that circle or half of the diameter of that circle, also known as the radius. And so in on shape, we can do some math and we can say 0.1875 and then just actually hit the division symbol divided by two. Okay, it'll bring that down. And then we're gonna go from here down to here. And this is gonna be our outer diameter. But remember the outer diameter is half of the, um, we want the half of that outer diameter being the radius. And so we're gonna say 1.375 and I'm pulling that number from here, but of course, it's only go, we're only dimensioning halfway across, so we want to make sure we divide that by two. Okay. And then the last measurement that we're missing is what is, so we have this guy, we have that, the whole radius. We've got the outer diameter um, converted into a radius, and then we just need, oh sorry, the outer diameter converted into a radius, and then we just need the thickness of that guy, and that's going to be from here to here, and that should be 0.25. Okay. And the reason that we're not cutting this one in half is because it doesn't cross over. It doesn't double up when you revolve it. All right. So we're almost done. We just need to put our fillets in. So we're going to hit tool, 
Okay, and it defaults to 0.25, which is what we want. It calls for that in the drawing up here. It says 0.25 radius. Okay, we'll go over here and select our two lines. Still defaulting to 0.25. And then our sketch is done. We're ready to revolve it. So once we have that, we're going to hit revolve. So to do a revolve, you have to select two things. Number one, you've got to select this the geometry that you want to revolve. And then you have to select the axis that you want it to revolve around, which is this guy. And then once you select those two things, it will revolve it. And you can tell there's the hole in the end. There's this. And that's it. You guys are good to go. So. If you guys have any issues uh, or have any questions, uh, feel free to put it in the uh, comments below and then um, you know hit subscribe if you want more of these Project Lead the Way videos. I'll be submitting uh, more of them as distance learning goes on.